This is Tony Biondo for FatLipMMA.com, and this is Mauro Ranallo, uh, the voice of Strike Force. Uh, Mauro, we got an awesome card coming up. The whole world will be watching on Showtime Saturday the fourth here at the Scott Trade Center. Uh, what are your thoughts on the card? Just, well, I, I think a masterpiece. Yeah, it really is a great way to end the year uh, 2010, and and it's you know it's fitting that we're here in the Gateway City of St. Louis because a lot of great fights have taken place in all forms of combat sports in St. Louis, and really I think it's kind of a, a gateway to the future of uh, the Strike Force title picture in 2011. In our main event, Dan Henderson and Hondo Babalu Sobral, of course, a rematch over a decade in the making. Although if you look at mixed martial arts and the way the sport has evolved in the past decade, I don't know if this is so much a a rematch as just seeing where each of these two great athletes and Dan Henderson and Hinato Babalu Sobral are at this state of their their stage of their career because you look at Sobral he was given an opportunity to fight for the title but he wanted Hendo instead and uh, I'll tell you something you got to be careful what you wish for yeah, sometimes. Absolutely. It almost looks like, like it's personal or something. Well it does seem to be a, a little personal with Hinato Babalu Sobral but for Dan Henderson a guy who has both campaigned at 185 and 205 the only major uh, mixed martial arts superstar to hold simultaneously two titles of course back in the pride days I think this is a very intriguing matchup, and of course you always have to watch out for that trademark overhand right of Dan Henderson, even though he is a former Olympic uh, wrestler, very dangerous in the clinch. And now to Babalu Sobral, lots of experience, uh, very, very well versed in all aspects of MMA, and, and I think this is a very intriguing match. I think there's a little more uh, wear and tear on Dan Henderson's body perhaps over the, over the years, but uh, I think this one is going to come down to really who wants to impose their will that much more. Absolutely. Uh, Henderson is uh, a, no secret. He's a slugger. But speaking of sluggers, Paul Simtex <laughs> Daly and Scott Smith. Man, you talk about fireworks. What are your thoughts on that one? Yeah, this one is, is tailor-made for television. As you mentioned, both guys like to stand and bang. It's going to be interesting to see how much power uh, Scott Smith retains, making his debut at 170 pounds. We all know the story of Paul Semtex Daly. Uh, what happened in his, his other uh, job with the UFC, of course, the, the awful incident involved Josh Koscheck, but I do believe in this world, as we know, you're, you're given that second opportunity. I think Paul Semtex Daly just had a, a mental cramp, as it were, and, and he's still a very dangerous fighter. And I don't think this one, while it may make it out of the first round, I think someone is going down in the first round. I, I think Daly so too. I, I think uh, I think the fans are going to be treated yeah, some very much uh, for sure. For, for sure. sure. Okay. Well, we won't keep him. He's a busy guy, and this is the voice of Strike Force. Uh, Marl, thanks for taking hey, the time to talk to Fat Thank Lip you MMA. very much, and I look forward to uh, working with yeah. you uh, Saturday. Looking forward to seeing you. Uh, again, uh, thanks for tuning in. This is FatLipMMA.com, and we are out. My lip's not that fat yet. <laughs>